Um, I don't know. I think it's been good for a while. Uh, good bounces, um, but we're moving it quick, finding good seams. Um, yeah, all five guys are involved. We're uh, reading each other really well. You don't really have a real answer, I guess, sometimes. It just works and you're just feeling it and when you feel it. So it's been good. Yeah, I mean, they're probably the best four checkers on our team to start with. And then, you know, in the power play, they get everything loose and um, make really good passes from there, too. They don't just throw it away or anything. So, yeah, two awesome players and um, filling in for Nas and, and Gabe isn't easy, but those guys are doing a good job. Nicholas, what would have been like if you got a hat trick if you weren't any hats? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I didn't want to score. <laughs> no, more, no more hats left. Yeah. It would have been cool, though. I'll, I'll keep it for another time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel it's weird because the score of the game, the final, was what it was. But for two, it, it felt like you guys were stuck a little bit and then broke out from there. Can you talk about maybe what happened from that moment on and mm -hmm. how slow the game went? Uh, I thought with our first period that uh, we came so strong, uh, maybe uh, we we slacked for maybe like five minutes in the, in the second period, and that's where they got their momentum, got their uh, first goal and second goal. But from there, I think we just took the game uh, control from, of the game, yeah. Is it human nature to think about the hat trick or the hat trick coming? Do you allow yourself to think, oh, this should be cool when it's No, I, I wanted to be done. I asked Bedsy, I'm like, I don't really want to. I'm good. I <laughs> play tomorrow. I was just chilling, but good bounce, and I just kind of whacked it. it. It was blessed tonight for sure. What did you think of the we want 10 chance? <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, we'll save it. Yeah, nine's enough, I think. So we we're good. Yeah, they got it. So it's a good chant. Knowing they played the night before, do you just want to jump on them early and try to set the tone? Uh, I mean, we always know when they're uh, two and two, it's it's really tough on their sports, tough on their body. Uh, I mean, for us tomorrow, it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always a part of the game plan. You just mentioned a minute ago that you know, getting near the end there, you know you got to play tomorrow. Is that something you guys are thinking about throughout the game, regardless of the score? Hey, we're playing tomorrow. Make sure you're pulling up here, you know, taking your extra shift, stuff like that. Uh, not when it's tight. I mean, in Winnipeg last week, it, you know, we it was a grind. You know, overtime game. I'm not thinking about the next night. You're just kind of in the moment. And I think when you get up by four or five, six goals, you're, you know, you, you want to be smart. Uh, I'd like to. You know, not get hurt in dumb situations like that when you're up by that much. And, you know, we got good team jersey tomorrow, so then you get another win. Hey, you've been pretty adamant throughout the year that Cal should have won the North last year and that you thought he's going to run away with it this year. The race has kind of tightened up a little bit, but if you were to make the, the case for Kevin Carter, what would you do? Who's it tightened up with? Yossi. Uh, Yossi? Oh, uh, I, don't, I don't watch the time, but... Um, I've never seen a D dominate like Kale. I'm not sure what Yossi's. Yossi's amazing. I think Yossi's got a couple of Norris's already. So maybe it's Kale's turn. Uh, tough to deny him. You know, I believe a little bit in a resume, just a touch. I mean, the year he had last year, um, and then he's followed up this year, being the best in the league two years in a row. So uh, I think he's earned that award. Uh, not that he cares at all, I don't think, but uh, I think he's definitely earned it. I mean, he does everything right. He's a hardworking kid, and yeah, I don't see why uh, he shouldn't win it this year. Obviously, the hat trick kind of helps you separate a little bit, but how crazy is it to see that he's not, you know, he's pretty much up there with the goals this year? Yeah, I mean, I had two in 40, so he's uh, he's a man. He's a man for sure. <laughs> On the topic of defensemen, just having Gerard and Byron both back, what, what does that do for you guys offensively? Uh, well, Bo skated so much today. It was crazy. It's nice to see him in the rush. Uh, we need that. And Sam with his edge, like, he controls the puck, controls the breakout, and, like, uh, so quick with those two in, in the lineup. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah. How long, how hard do you think it is to, to kind of stay focused when you're off big, like, you're off and you're going to regain your focus? It can be difficult at times <laughs> I'd say it's it's not easy but I mean there's a lot of game to be played at that point I loved our first period we were uh, the aggressors we were on our toes our forecheck was rolling 
um, ozone play. We're seeing what we talked about this morning and what we wanted to do. Um, on the defending side of it, we were tight. Um, and then they came out and outworked us at the start of the second for probably 10, 12 minutes. And we get a timely goal and it kind of sparks us again. And, and, and I like the way we finished off the game, but it can be tough sometimes. Uh, you got to just, you know, that's a personal thing for all our guys on the bench staying in. I think they got a lot of confidence in our team. So sometimes they can get to the point where we ease off a little bit, but it's a fine line between, you know, dominating and, and being dominated. How nice is that knowing that you guys have a game tomorrow to get that big lead there in the third and kind of be up the roll you want to get some rest? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's big because, like I said before, we're not just resting guys. Our plan isn't to just rest guys when, um, you know, by scratching them and sitting them out and giving them that time. There's practices we'll give guys off. And then in games like this, I'd like to use four lines as much as we possibly can down the stretch here. It's good for all of our players. And, um, you know, we've kind of been doing that a little bit on the back-to-backs, just, you know, a little um, portion of games, trying to make sure that we're running four lines enough that we're not leaning on our top guys all the time when, when we're going into back-to-backs because we'll need juice the second night. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, I was getting to the point. I wanted to get to about the seven-minute mark, eight-minute mark, and then shut a few guys down. And um, there's no use overplaying those guys if they're – because you got to be sharp and you got to be engaged. And if you're not, then you're you're bound to get hurt. So I feel like those guys kind of know when they've done their job and, and it's been accomplished, and then they're, they're good to just kind of pass it off to their teammates as some guys that maybe don't see some – ozone situations, ozone face-offs and all that, but I need them to go a little bit more. I don't want to tax the other guys too much either and then have them be tired for tomorrow. So nice to see them get it, though. Are there any unspoken hockey rules that uh, gets out of hand? Yeah, I think it's a respect thing for me. Like, we get a power play. You don't want to put your top guys on. Um, you try to, you know, use some of your – bench and make sure you're not just pouring out top guys all the time because you're having a night um but that's a fine line too you know i've put our power play out up six one late in the game before because if teams are gonna take liberties on your guys or they're hacking and whacking or taking dirty shots i'm like well go get another one then you know what i mean so it just depends on how the game's going um so yeah I just kind of keep that in mind when you get a lead like that. It's no fun being on the other side of that. We've been there many times, and um, you're just kind of watching the clock, trying to get through it and get the game over with without getting anyone hurt. Do you ever coach in the game with two hat tricks? I have no idea. <laughs> I can hardly remember the games right before Christmas. Never mind. Uh, so likely, but uh, I can't. I couldn't pinpoint it. You mentioned the power. Yeah, they were sharp. Yeah, they were sharp. They were sharp in pregame skate today. It's been rolling pretty good, our power play, you know, and, and that's with some guy key guys out. Uh, but we've had other guys step in. lekkonen has been a nice fit in there, helps with the retrievals. You know, Val's done a nice job on the top unit at the front of the net. I think, you know, we have some good pieces, right? I mean, we got some playmakers and some superstars on it. So, it, you know, when they're when they're focused and and you know bought into sort of the game plan and what we're trying to do, and and yet they still play with their instincts and and move the puck quick, then uh, and get in, the, in that attack mentality that we talk about a lot. They're they're dangerous group, you know. When we get uh, comfortable and just pass it around, or it's too. Uh, and it's not running at the pace we want it to run at, then it can it can get slow and 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 more predictable and less dangerous. But recently we've we've done a nice job, you know, possessing possessing the puck, checking it back. Like before we scored tonight on the one, I think we checked it back three times when they had it and just kept working for support. And and eventually you get a tired group and you break them down. So, but a real good shot mentality on that one. I think we had three or four pucks to the net before we finally put one in. So that's what we want to see from our guys. 
since the scratch a couple weeks ago, uh, Abe Kubel seems like he's really ramped it up. Yeah, I think longer than that, you know, uh, even when I think I touched on it when I scratched him a few weeks ago, it was one of those things where I fe had felt really good about his game for probably four or five games already. Um, you know, different system takes time for guys to come in, what you got away with and or what you, you know, some of the habits you developed with, with other clubs or whatever, and you, you come in, it's a different game for us. Like we have a high standard set for ourselves right now. So, you know, you can look past a mistake or two, but I don't like seeing them repeated. Um, so for me, it was, you know, puck management, taking care of the puck, not trying to do too much when things tighten up. And then I wanted to see him, you know, if you ask Kubi what his, you know, best traits are, he'd say, like, I'm a hard forechecking guy, I like to be strong on the puck, play physical, and I wasn't seeing it enough, you know, and that's his description of himself. So we talked a, a little bit about that in some different meetings and how he can provide it. And because I see the skill, you know, he's got a great shot. He has some skill. He's a sturdy guy. He's built like a fire hydrant. And now he's kind of put in the work and, and paid attention to the way he manages the puck, especially in tight situations and time and score in the game. And he's become a more responsible guy and, and his defending details are improving. And so he's getting a little bit more ice, a little bit more opportunity playing on our third line and he's making the most of it so good on him you know it's a guy that we picked up on waivers and you never know where that's going to go and for a while I wasn't real happy with him but now I'm really happy with him so he's 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 turned it around and and, and he's been listening and, and putting the work in to get better what were your thoughts on the Ben Meyer side yeah I thought it was great you know I thought it's great free player right um really good player I watched him play a little bit uh I don't know him real well, but centerman can't have enough of him. Hard working guy, 200 foot guy that's trusted in all situations for a real good college team. Has played in big uh, situations, you know, power play, penalty kill, five on five, shutdown roles. He's produced offense. He's, he's got a good motor and a good work ethic. So we're excited to see him come in and get him in the lineup. Last couple of ones, guys, right there. Just a quick thought on that, but do, do you plan on having him in the lineup? I do. Yeah. And then glad to be here. And then um just having both Bo and Sam Gerard back, what kind of does that do for the look of your team offensively and just how that is? Helps a lot. I mean, these are two guys, right, in the offensive zone, they're as dangerous as any forward. Um, and breaking pucks out of your zone, too. I mean, geez, as good as anyone in the league at it, going back for pucks and escaping their first four checker and still being able to make smart plays and get you in and out of your zone with possession when you can carry it, when you don't have to just chip it out and go chase it. So both guys are really good at that. So you you become a, a worse, but you, you know, you'll watch it. When they're in the lineup, we'll spend less time in our zone because of their breakout ability. Uh, obviously, he didn't have to be huge today, but Darcy Kemper has been on such a good run lately. Thoughts on him in general, and if you think he should be in the better conversation? No question, he should be in the conversation. I think because for me, you know. New club takes a little time to to get settled, but it's it's. Uh, I mean, he's been going like this. His progression. I think he's getting better and better every start he gets. Um, really consistent down the stretcher for months now for me. Um, you know, like you said, didn't need him a lot tonight, but he makes some big saves. The, the goals they got, <laughs> they were pretty nice goals and hard to stop, right? The deflection, the rebound, they get a, the, we're doing the right thing in D zone coverage and the guy gets a perfect rebound right in the slot. Um, you know, some of those are tough to come up with, but he's keeping us in every game and giving us a chance to win. So um, I really like what he's been doing for us here. Thank you, Did you yeah, great. Wednesday night, late game, you know, you never know what's going on. We've had some really good crowds. Um, you know, I can't remember which game it was at home a little while ago that the crowd was chanting before the anthem even started. Today they were doing the same thing. So you can feel that when you go on the bench as a coach, as a player, that they're into it and uh, that they were going to be energized. And we wanted to make sure that we came out and played a real good game after having a couple off games in Winnipeg and Edmonton. So, um, you know, I think our guys feel that. And, you know, that's why our record's so good at home. But we won 10 I heard it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I mean I was glad they were getting into it and keep cheering our guys on. Thank you, Appreciate it. Thanks.